Well, Steve White, Trek Boy 89 for Steve Arts 89. Well, this would have to be the most disturbing episode of Star Trek I've seen, and the worst episode of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. It's episode 8, Under the Cloak of War. Basically, this episode ends with Mbenga, Dr. Mbenga, killing a Klingon diplomat in cold blood, and Christine Chapel covering up for it. Um, and then getting away with it. And we're supposed to like or respect these characters. We're supposed to want to spend time with these characters. We're supposed to want to see them next week do a musical, sing and dance, after they just murdered a Klingon diplomat. I mean, what are the people who are making this show trying to say about humanity? What are they trying to say? What are they trying to say to us? Who are they talking to? I was... I, I put off watching this episode because I just it just made me think of the next week, the musical, and just how horrible that was going to be. Um, so far as just you know, and I, I kind of procrastinated about ten hours, twelve hours, um, but I wasn't expecting anything like this. Basically, the episode has a Klingon diplomat coming on board the Enterprise to um, be transported somewhere, I guess, for diplomatic reasons. I get. I don't think it's just a tour. I think he's just being taken somewhere, and some of the crew members are openly um, prejudiced against him uh, because he's a Klingon and they fought in the war. They are openly traumatised, yet they are not getting or receiving any treatment. This is supposed to be the 23rd century. We wouldn't allow people to walk around with that sort of trauma and um, prejudice today, yet we're supposed to believe that people in Starfleet are just put, you know, to work without having dealt with any of these issues and being traumatised to the point that they basically collapse in, in their offices through through the sheer trauma of being re-traumatised by, by just the presence of someone. And I understand war <sighs> traumatises people, but we know that and we are supposed to treat them now. Our system fails our vets now, but this is Gene Roddenberry's Star Trek, where the future is better, where we have proper medical treatment and, and we understand how we work. This situation would not exist. These people not, would not be so traumatised that they can't work. They wouldn't not seek help. They wouldn't not get it. They wouldn't be able to go forward in their jobs being like this. Like, like they literally kill a Klingon who comes on the boat, on board the ship because they hate him that much because they're traumatized by them killing humans in, in in the Klingon war like five years before or a few years before um, we wouldn't accept those sort of war crimes and those sort of things today and we and the message the show is giving us is that hundreds of years in the future we will we'll be fine with it we'll just kill Klingons because we don't like them, because they hurt us. It's that simple. What? Who? Who wrote this show? Who? who it's just beyond me. Um, now, so far as the actors, they do a great job, but they're playing characters from today. Basically, this is untreated post-traumatic stress, making people basically commit crimes. That's basically what this is, which is what we're seeing. And it's a fairly, I think, realistic depiction of what that sort of thing would be like today where we don't have, you know, the resources to treat people and people don't either slip through the cracks or don't seek it or they're not able to get it because, because of financing, stuff like that. But this is Gene Roddenberry's future. This is a better future, somewhere we're supposed to want to be and look forward to being in instead of just, it's exactly the same as today. It's, I just, it's... This is not Star Trek. It's horrible. Um, now, the episode itself, basically, like I said, he comes on board. He he apparently got to be a diplomat because he used a story where he apparently killed his own Klingon people to end um, a particular assault in the war, I think is what was supposed to have happened. What really happened was he escaped... And Mbenga, who had taken over from some um, Klingon, sorry, human Starfleet troopers who were supposed to be um, um, killing this general, he took over from them, tried to kill him, 
killed his his people while he escaped and then he basically got back out and um never revealed that he was part of this mission to try and kill this this klingon and the klingon general took responsibility for, for the klingons who were killed and parlayed that into a diplomatic position with the federation and it was helping having a klingon you know negotiating and involved in um peace talks and that it did help but he knew that he was fake and he felt the right to punish him for his crimes not actually he, he it's like he's like i know who you are i know what you did i know you're fake and he was like we're doing something don't destroy that it's like well i can't let you live so i'll kill you and keep your secret so i'm helping to preserve peace but i'm in i'm i'm getting revenge upon you it's disturbing and i wouldn't want to be in starfleet if people like this were in there i i wouldn't i don't understand this it's just the worst episode i mean i've said this before um so far as canon issues and writing issues and that particularly with discovery but this was just the most morally reprehensible thing I've ever seen in Star Trek. Just killing someone out of pure revenge and and having no conscience about it at all. Chapel doesn't no thought to to telling the truth. Now, I guess the argument would be, oh we were protecting the Federation, we were protecting his legacy or whatever. He's dead, it doesn't matter now. You can't use that as an excuse. It's it's everything wrong with this episode um now visually the episode looked great i mean yes they're on the the um the led stage and you can tell again because it's a circle and you know blah blah but um the fire from the uh war in the background the battle and all that basically um mbanga and chapel were on uh, a little like colony on like a moon that was just set up like a mash unit and they are dealing with you know just constantly you know um war wounded coming in and having to deal with them without all the proper equipment without all the resources sometimes having to you know like literally you know massage hearts to get them to um start and stuff like that not having organ regenerators having to put people in um the transporter buffer to keep them because they couldn't keep them alive and they had to wait for transport so they put them on ships with proper medical base stuff like that it was horrific and you see what they went through and I mean, that's the problem. This episode is all about war, death, killing, and justification for killing. And it's, it's, this episode should have been about moving past that, about peace, about making peace with this character, making, moving forward. This character wanted to, to make up for what he did. He wanted to, you know, grow. He wanted to change. He wanted to be, he wanted to see the Federation and the Klingons have peace. He didn't want to see any more of, of the war and the death that he participated in and, and, that's what they should have focused on that that is a star trek story this was just wallowing in death and murder and darkness and misery and pain and trauma and as much as the actors did a good job with it it's just it's it's just trying to it's just all the show does is try to be contemporary but with a science fiction fancy i'll oh, look at our you know ship and sets and all that but just basically telling today's stories and about like what people would go through today in war and how to deal with it. Although I, I don't even think anyone would justify what they did, you know, today. But yet apparently it's fine in, in Starfleet's future. It's like I just found it really disturbing and I mean I knew it was coming I mean I was started I started crying in the in the in the opening credits. Because the open credits are so beautiful. They're what Star Trek is about. Exploration, wonder, all of that. And I just was like, this is an absolute um, bastardization of what Star Trek should be. It's just, it's just focusing on everything negative about humanity. Everything negative about today. And just putting it in the future and saying everything's the same as it is today. It's not going to be any better. We're still going to have traumatized people who do immoral things who can justify it and that is what humanity is i believe humanity is better than that i would not do what mbenga did most people wouldn't do what mbenga did but because some people would we're supposed to believe that's what we are that's what people are capable of and at the end he says to chris 
um, Pike, because he comes to talk to him because he's not stupid, he knows sort of what happened. Because um, all that happened was that the guy wanted to have, um, wanted to do training with him. And he was trying to befriend him because he thought the two of them working together could really help with the peace talks. And he didn't want to do it and he came. And he has the, the weapon there. He was planning to kill him. And he just was like, leave. He doesn't leave. And he's like, well, you wouldn't leave, so that justifies me killing You push me, so just everything's about justifying killing him. And the guy is just trying to, to talk to him, just trying to get him to, to understand. And he just attacks him and kills him. We don't actually see it. We see it through a screen. Chapel, I think she knows what happened, but she didn't actually see exactly what happened. And the story he told was that he attacked him and that I guess he defended himself and killed him. Um, why would he do it? Um, they know that the weapon was the weapon that he supposedly used, but I mean, how did he get this weapon on the ship? I didn't think he get it on the ship, but um, how, did this, how did the Klingon get it on the ship? Now they know it was his weapon because it had the DNA of the people who was killed, blah, 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 blah. It's just, it's an ugly little episode. It's an ugly look at humanity. It's, um, it's not Star Trek. It's disturbing and offensive and sad. And like I said, the credits made me cry because I knew what was coming. And I know that's what these people think of humanity. The people who write this show, that's what they think of humanity. That's, that's, and it's not Gene's vision. It's not what people who love Star Trek and watch Star Trek to see, that things will get better. There were stories of people who, like police officers, army people, who would go to war, go to work, and they'd, and they'd come back and they'd watch Star Trek because it made them believe the, f the future would be better. What does this show tell them? Oh, it's just going to be exactly the same. We're going to have the same problems, the same responses. We're not going to, nothing gets any better. That, that humanity doesn't grow. There's no hope. It's just ho horrible, horrible what it does to Star Trek, what this show does to Star Trek, what this episode did to Star Trek. And it really upsets me. Like I said, I was crying in the credits because I knew this was coming. I knew this is how they saw humanity and how they see the Star Trek future. And they don't even understand how far off they are. They, they don't get it. So I, I had to have a, a vent. I had to have um, some YouTube therapy, a bit of a rant. Um, it's just the worst, most horrific episode of Star Trek. And, well, of this show. It's not an episode of Star Trek. Um, it just makes me sad and angry because this is not what Star Trek is. This is not what I want from Star Trek. I should be able to watch a Star Trek show and not be so offended um, by the way they, you know, look at humanity. It's, this is sad. And I've got to go because I've been talking for 13 minutes. Um, but yeah. <sighs> Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, and next week we've got a fluffy musical. And what is that supposed to just erase all of this? Um, it's so sad what happened to this show. It had so much potential to be a Star Trek show about exploration, about the future of humanity being bright. And um, what did they give us? 